Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, goes uh, uh, on uh, interviews with Will Kane, and Will Kane asks him a question about how he feels America is doing today. Here's his answer, and Will even asked if he will be endorsing President Biden the way he did a few years ago. Go ahead, Rob. You made that endorsement in 2020. Are you happy with the state of America? Am I happy with the state of America right now? Well, that answer is no. Do I believe we're going to get better? I, I believe in that. I'm an optimistic guy, and I, I believe we can get better. Um, the endorsement that I made uh, years ago with Biden was one I thought was the best decision for me at that time. And I thought back then, when we talk about, hey, uh, you know, I, I'm in this position uh, where I have some influence, and it's my job then. I felt like that then. It's my job now to exercise my influence and share with this, this is who I'm going to endorse. Am I going to do that again this year? That answer is no. Wow. So how do, how do you process that, Jesse? <laughs> I think his boys were giving him a hard time for the last four years. <laughs> that was the stupidest endorsement ever. And you're talking about The Rock. You're talking about Tom Cruise level celebrity, box office celebrity, $20 million, $30 million a movie. And he endorsed Joe Biden yeah. and Kamala Harris. Yeah. I mean, he can't go. Every weekend, his boys are busting his shops. Like, are you kidding me? And not only that, not only that, Patrick, he's now on the board of directors at UFC WWE. What's that fan base like? Oh, we know. Is, is that is that a Sleepy Joe fan base? Not that at is all. a Trump <laughs> Not base at all. For right. sure. So this is a little bit of a business decision walk back. And I give him credit for walking him back, but uh, probably the worst endorsement of all time. And by the way, is this the way he did it? Is this the clip when he endorsed uh, Biden? Can you play this clip? So, guys, I had the opportunity to sit down with Vice President Joe Looks Biden jacked. and Senator Kamala Harris to talk about yeah. a number of important issues that we're facing as a country. I thought it was a great and extremely productive conversation that we had. And as a registered independent for years now with centrist, centrist excuse me, ideologies, I do feel that Vice President Biden and Senator Harris are the best choice to lead our country. And I am endorsing them to become president and vice president of our United States. Yeah, you can pause. Well, is he wearing a bra? Like, look at his <laughs> boobs. So, he's so, got like extra but, but crap. Let's, oh my God. Let's, let's stay on this because if you, if you go on Twitter and you look at it, the people on the left lost their minds. Literally, oh. you should see what they're saying about him on Twitter. He is being attacked left and right from the people on the left and people who are not fans of Trump just because he said, I will not be doing that again this year. Now, that doesn't mean he said, the, the, the interpretation of that could be what? What's definite? Definite is I'm not voting for Biden. That's how I process that. So that leaves two guys, which is who? RFK <laughs> yeah. or Trump or one other option, which is what? I'm sitting this one out. Now, he's a guy that loves America, which means you, you can't sit a vote out. If you love America and you truly are a patriot, you lose the option to not vote, which means leaves him two options. Now, the people that vote for RFK... They're typically the anti, you know, maybe they're not fans of forced vaccination, freedom of speech. I don't know if Dwayne Johnson is part of that camp. So does that eliminate RFK to lead to a guy that nobody would ever thought? So is he a guy that's going to end up voting for Trump without anybody knowing about it? And he'll be a closet voter that's going to be kept to himself so he doesn't lose any jobs? I don't know. What do you think? I think he's going Trump. You think he's going Trump? I think he's going Trump. <laughs> I just He said he's a patriot. Yeah. He wants the country to get better. It can't get any worse than it is now. Yeah. So can I give you guys my thoughts on this here? So, so I want you to think about this for a second. Think about guys that uh, um, actually are, uh, what do you call it, are guys that are truly independent, who are famous, super famous, who may have voted on the left, or may have voted in the middle, but they can be seen personality-wise as a synergist, okay? A synergist that can bring, maybe both groups can bring them a little bit like this, right? Mm -hmm. Who do you see as somebody that can be a synergist? Obviously, we know LeBron's not part of the synergist camp, Definitely right? Not. He's out, right? Uh, I think, you know, a name like maybe a, 
uh, 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 Chris Pratt, maybe a name like that. If you put, you know, Dwayne Johnson, maybe a Kim Kardashian that, and I know that kind of sounds weird saying Kim, but Kim's got a lot of influence, three, four hundred million followers. All the sisters together, they got a billion followers, right? So if you think about that level of influence, who do you put at that level? Well, McConaughey. Okay. Wasn't Matthew he McConaughey. trying to be that centrist guy in yeah, Texas? Yeah, good point. I think he's a little left to center, but he was trying for that With the Second road. Amendment, when he did that thing, came out and gave a speech about guns, that, that kind of was more left position he it took, was, right? Yeah, that yeah. hurt him. That hurt yeah. him. And he wanted to be a governor at the time. He yeah. wanted to kind of go against that. He was that. flirting with it. Who else you think? Who else you think plays a role like that? Because that's what I think of The Rock. I think The Rock is grappling with something right now. But who else you put at that level? Who else you put at that level that they can come out and say, look, I'm going to make a decision. It's going to be tough. Here's why I'm making a decision. And I know I'm going to get a lot of heat for this. But this is why I'm making it, because I think we are divided. And the division is coming from here. And I'd like to see us do this. Who are some voices like that? It's a different wiring of a personality. Ugh. It's not everybody. Who do you think has the capability of doing that? Tom, who do you think about? When I think about like celebrities that have the opportunity to to lift forward, you know, The Rock and his magnetism and and the, kind of the sports angle sits there to me as like it's tier zero. And I don't think there's a lot up there with him. I think there's some tier one people, but he's like a Reagan kind of Reagan came out of the movie industry. He was in it, but not all about it. And then he you know, ran for governor, subsequently ran for president. There's not many tier zero people that are in like um, entertainment that have the ability to have that escape velocity, especially today, because you have to be so woke. You have to salute the liberal flag, salute the wokeness up to a point. How do you get escape? How do you live as an independent and have legitimacy for your position and get escape velocity out of that? That's hard today. So who do you think? I got one. Go for it. Tom Brady. I was oh, just wow. going to say Tom Brady. Oh, wow. He's positioned himself pretty beautifully in the country. At one time, he had a MAGA hat in his locker. And, yep. that got a and little got attention. Shit for it. Yep. And but he's one of those guys that's good American, well-liked by everybody. I think he could pull it off in a way that people would respond to. I think so, too. And, but, but, Jess, how, how, how— Let's stay on this. Yeah, Let's I was going to ask him how— Tom, uh, I, I think say, I Tom know. is a Trump guy. He is. I mean, he's. Oh, I, well, I don't think he's out there expressing it, uh, but I think it's pretty pretty obvious. I'll give you just a couple names real quick. Certainly The Rock, certainly Joe Rogan. Uh, I would say Adam Sandler. Like he is so <laughs> likable. I didn't see that coming. He is so likable. I agree. And like, if Adam Sandler, he won't do it. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. I'm voting for Trump. Like people go, you know, yeah, he won't Sandler's do it. not. He won't do it. No. But and then. I don't know if he's a synergist, but Elon, why do I say this? Yeah. I would I would I'd be willing to guess there's probably data on this. Rogan was a Bernie guy. Uh Elon was not a Trump guy. At all. Rock endorsed Biden. Yep. Adam Sandler, I don't know where he stands. But if all three of those guys, some of the biggest names in the world, are like, look, we were on this team before. Upon further review, we're kind of over here now. I think a lot of people in the country will be like, yep. Yeah, Okay, so I I, I, I wrote people, down. People. I think Tom Brady's a big one. I didn't have yeah. that written out. That's that makes sense. Rogan, I had it written down for sure. I think yeah. Musk could play that role, even though he's like a uh, a trollish type of guy. I I, I don't know. He, he kind of likes to troll. So maybe it's not the maybe he could maybe it's not part of his DNA. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think a Snoop could. I think a Snoop could be somebody from the hip-hop side to come Snoop out and say, hey, guys, let me tell you, I've been around. This is how old I am. This is what I've seen. This is what I've done. And I think we're at a point right now where we got to stop like thinking about this is a, uh -huh. what, what the hell are we doing? Here's what we got. Let's bring all of us together. I think those types of people, but I think with Rock, you know what Phase Rock said right now? How Can you pull up how old Rock is? If I'm 45, Rock's 54. He looks fantastic. I mean, 50 51. freaking one. Looks this guy great. looks like he's 40 years old. He looks younger than me. He's, he's in his 30s. Yeah. He's not taking anything. So, that's so, natural, right? That's oh, natural. Yeah. All, all, all natural. natural. Can I give you one more name? Creatine and water. Chemicals make all things Let me make my point. Okay, sure. Let me make my point. So what I think with The Rock right now is this is, th this is the question he has to answer. Okay? You know what the question is? Pull up Rock's net worth. Pull up Rock's net worth. Has he, is he like 600 million, 700 million? What's his net worth? Is he not a billionaire yet? No. Uh, I don't know if he is. He may be. He's, he, he's going to be, but what is his net worth? What does it say? 800 million. Okay. All right. so, so how much of that 800 million is paper money? And you know what I'm asking, Tom? So how much of that 800 million is paper wealth? What's paper wealth? Paper wealth is how much of it is tied to 
a drink company that he hasn't sold yet, right? Okay, right there. He's got 30 to 40% stake in what? Termana, which has a current... Okay, so that's a lot. So it's like Shit. 650 of his 800 okay, so Terramana. You know, then, then he can't be too loud because Terramana... Uh, uh, can you pull up right. the profile of a Terramana drinker? Like, uh, uh, what's the war, Tom? How do, how do we Google that? What is the... Demographic? Ideal demographic of a Terramana just drinker. customer profile. Customer profile. Perfect. Uh, uh, Terramana. So let's take is. a look at this. Uh, uh, go a little lower. Terramana tequila. Do they have go a little lower? Let's see if it shows it or not. Uh, Bodybuilder that it. likes tequila. Let's, see, okay, who, let's see what that one is. Eight things you need. Well, it's 2021. Anyways, what will be the profile of a Terramana drinker? Okay. I, I think Rock's followership, whether he knows it or not, I think 70 plus percent are you know, man's man, you know, I was dude, drink, I was drinking yeah. conservative. I, was drinking I think 65 plus percent of his guys are there, right? So if he's got 35 percent equity in Terramanas, that's worth $2 billion. That's $700 million. He hasn't cashed out yet. The people on the inside that are advisors giving him advice, his ex, his friends, his peers, they're probably going to say, lay low until we exit this one because it's 90% of your net worth. That's 80% of your net worth. I don't think it's 80% of it, but because I think right. he made $124 million a couple of years ago, high speed actor in the world. So it's not like this guy's not making money. But if he gets to a point where the level of pride of family, dad comes down, he's having those moments, the conversations about, did you ever see Rock's speech when his dad died, the speech he gave at the church? No. Every man has to watch this. Every man has to watch this. Mm. You have to take a few minutes and go watch this. How long ago did his father pass away? Six years ago. When it could be five. Can you t type in when Dwayne Johnson? It could be four years ago. It, it's recent when he died. If you've never seen this to four years ago. Okay, so he died four years ago. Let me tell you. Afterwards, let me just text you here so you can, because it's seven minutes long, I think, six or seven. You got to watch it. I will. And when you watch this guy, you will see a man that has a lot of pride. He's proud to be that man's son. And he's proud to be an American. He loves America, but he's grappling with some of these business decisions that he's worked so many years for to get to the side. And paper wealth sometimes makes people not fully make a decision publicly because it could cost them a lot of money. You know what RNC convention he was at? 2001. And he spoke. The, the, you know this one, right? He, the Rock spoke at the RNC in 2000. I didn't know that. Type in The Rock at RNC. Well, Did you I know this or no? that. At the RNC. Guys, go YouTube or, type I mean, in RNC. This is at we for George in Philadelphia. Bush? Guys, he is speaking at the RNC. Was this, do you smell what the rock is cooking mm -hmm. face? Ty type in. No, type there in, it is, right there. Type in. 2001. The speech at RNC. Uh, uh, let me find it for you. No, he spoke on stage at the RNC. That doesn't make sense. But he, but he, but he endorsed Biden, and now he's talking for the... said 2001. Oh, my bad. I thought you said 2021. My right bad. there. I I'm just found idiot. it. 2000. There you go. I just found it. I'll send it to you. Yeah. 2000. So this he is, this is Bush Gore. This is right when he there. was full right. oh, WWE yeah, he was the Look at this, this plate. This is when, yeah. You invited The Rock, the World Wrestling Federation champion, to speak at the Republican National Convention? I forgot about this. You can pause it right here. Wow. So, so the point is, listen, man, yeah. typically as you get older, you don't get more left. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. If you're conservative in 2002, 2000, 24 years later with family, kids, you marry an Armenian, you, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, something's <laughs> yeah. something's going to happen. Yeah. Except yeah. if you got 35% in a yeah. $2 billion company or, that you haven't cashed out yet. So, yeah. Or except <clears throat> if you go Hollywood. Well, yes, but I don't think, I think, I think at this phase, he's asking mm -hmm. legacy. And, and as you age, there's something unique that happens as you age. Mm -hmm. Your thermometer, the other day, Tico's in the back watching this podcast right now. You know, he says, hey, Dad, you mind if I read the book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving Up? <laughs> read that. It's a good book. Yeah, it's a very good book. I said, yeah, you can read it. He says, is it okay if I read it? I said, he, he says, I don't know why he has that title, but it makes me want to read it, right? Yeah. Tico. He says, he says to me Tico. last night, he says, you think there's power in not giving an F? <laughs> I said, uh, there's a lot of power in that, but sometimes people give too much of an F when they're younger. You know what yeah. I should have named my book? What? Get it the F together. <laughs> <laughs> Get it together. So this is the, Get it the, you F know, the PG-13 version. But, but the point is, I don't know if he's gotten to that phase yet. Hmm. If he's gone to the phase that it's the... The subtle art of not giving a flying, you know, what anymore. And he wants to go out there and unite. History could look back at this guy as being a synergist. I think he could be a Reagan-esque synergist if he comes out and says, this is my value. I'm pro-America. I'm pro-military. I'm pro-Second Amendment. 
I'm pro-family. I'm pro-kids. I'm pro-pro-pro-capitalism, pro-this. This is what I'm pro. Certain areas of my life, I'm social. I have friends that are maybe gay. I have this and this and that. Great. Boom. Let, you know, run on that. He, I can see that potential now is not that time. He just tipped his toe in the water back again on the Republican side. I think he's going to let this election play out. And remember, Trump's term limited. 2020, what, eight? eight. It's yeah. over. Yeah. Open primary That's on right. both sides. That's right. So he can seize it if he wants it. He just needs to make sure he sells the stocks oh. in the next three years. <laughs> yeah. exactly. well, because if you think I, about it, if he, he's not, he didn't openly come out. Because I mean, what happens to The Rock's career if mm -hmm. in that interview he went, definitely not going Biden. I'm actually going, I'm endorsing Donald J. Trump. Sexual allegations would come out the next day. Everything, dude, nobody would work with him yeah. in Hollywood. The, the shit storm would follow. That's a very so, good point. So, Jesse, I respect what he's doing because he's letting, by the way, and you nailed it. How many, a billion people, everybody knows who the hell The Rock is. He's even saying 57%, that. 57% highest recognizable face in the world. Okay, so, and how many how many human <laughs> beings are there? How many human eight billion. Eight, eight billion. So, <laughs> four billion people. Wait, that, even no. that right there is making people go, wait a minute. Wait, he's more recognizable than Trump. He is at the highest recognizable celebrity in the world. Maybe not Trump, but he's at 57%. Maybe it's Tom a Cruise. He tops Tom Cruise. Oh, yeah, for sure. With those muscles. No, Top the gun. same no, level no, no, as this, LeBron. No, there's this probably is, a lot of people. This is guys, Q score. not Q score. Oh, I'm not talking Q score. I'm talking recognizable oh. in the world. Rocket because Donald. you got to realize he is in movies in China. He is in movies oh, yeah, in India. I agree. He's in movies. So movie celebrities, Big time. It, 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 they're going to be recognized yeah. more. I guarantee you right now, people know Rock more than they know Biden. For, Only for reason sure. maybe not Trump is because Trump's been a celebrity for decades, for sure, and that yeah. could be it. But he is that kind of an influence. So, yes, it's a challenging place to be. But again, maybe The Rock needs to go read the book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a <laughs> Flying. You know, <laughs> or what? get it the uh, F together. I, I think he's got more influence together. than he thinks. And I don't think he, if he's thinking that, you know, I got to play nice with the board of directors, I got to think with the drink company, I think. If he's listening, he's got more power there than he thinks. The board of directors of Oracle have always tried to talk Larry Ellison about weeding his power, and he was from the conservative side. Bloomberg told everybody, no, I'm going, I'm going to do this, despite my company. And they both had huge, huge companies with boards that didn't want him to be too political. I think, I think The Rock has got more ability to do this than he may think, mm -hmm. and more influence to maybe let people know, no, this is what I'm going to do, and this is where I'm going to go. Two books. Read that book, and the other book is, uh, uh, I messaged him, but the other book, I haven't given the book, it would be Barbarians to Bureaucrats. If he really wants to know what a society, what a civilization, what a company goes through from the phase of a prophet to a uh, barbarian, to a builder explorer, to the administrators that create law and order, to then comes the bureaucrats and aristocrats, he will realize America's going through the phase of having bureaucrats and aristocrats. And in that time, in a company, in a family, in a denomination, in a sports team, in a any organization, you need a synergist to bring them together. And I think he'll identify with the synergist. For the people that are watching the podcast today who want a signed copy of this book, there's three. Here's what we're doing. Anybody who goes on vtmerch.com and places an order for $50 or more, a minimum of $50, you go to vtmerch.com. Place your order. You can buy Future Looks Bright Hat, whatever you may order. We're going to give you a PBD podcast, Future Looks Bright mug. We're going to put in a pin and a keychain. And three of you on Tuesday will do a raffle to give away those three signed copies. But you got to go to vtmerch.com and place an order for a minimum of $50. The first 100 will be part of that raffle. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.